Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. We have another screen replacement for you. Uh, as you can see, the screen is completely busted right here. Uh, this is an Acer Aspire 7750. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off, take the battery out, and then replace this screen. So let's get started. So like always, we wanna flip it over and remove the battery. Okay, so now this laptop has two little stickers, one here and one here. Uh, behind those are screws and I don't see any others. So once we remove those two screws, we should then be able to pry this front bezel off and get to the screen. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm just gonna use a little razor blade to get in underneath these screws, or the stickers rather. Um, find it's the easiest way. Now with our screwdriver, just gonna go in and remove these two screws. Okay. So now with those two screws down, I'm just gonna get my Budger, like in previous videos, just gonna try and catch it into a seam here. And just work it along the edges and pop out all these tabs until we can freely take this uh, front bezel off. This is a big screen. This is, I believe, a 17.3 inch screen. Um, it's pretty big for a laptop, if you ask me. Pretty cumbersome to carry around, but yeah. if that's someone's preference, that's fine. Okay, so now should be able to. Yeah, so now we just kind of wiggle and lift. There you go. The screen is out. Or, sorry, the front bezel is out. All right. So now there's two screws up there holding uh, the hinge in at the top. And then we're also going to take these two screws down here so we can dislodge the hinge completely um, to actually get this back bezel off so that we can get to the screen a little bit better. Uh, sometimes it's not necessary if you can just kind of you know, pry gently and lift and get enough room to get your screwdriver in. But since this is a bigger laptop um, and you know everything's a little bit further apart, I don't want the weight of possibly the screen or anything like that to break the plastic uh, anchors here. I just lost a screw. I'm gonna have to go back and find that one. Luckily, I got screws everywhere. I promise you, anytime you try to record a video, that's when the easiest things do not go right. Like unscrewing a screw. Okay, so now we have all the screws out. Now we can actually just not have to worry about breaking the little anchor pieces that are down here, which do commonly break in laptops just you know over time and stress. Um, so now with those free, we don't have to worry about that. So now there are going to be 
two to three screws. So in this case, three screws on the side. I'm gonna remove those. See if I can get you an angle. Unfortunately, this laptop's just too, it's too big to get you a good view, but we're just gonna remove the sides here, the three screws on the side. Okay, so now the screen should be relatively free, as you can see. All right, so now, you can see there's this cable that's attached to the webcam. So we're just gonna, you know, remove it from the back of the screen and now we can freely move this screen down. All right, so we're gonna wanna gently remove this cable from the LCD cable from the back of the LCD screen. Um, these are pretty fragile and delicate, so you wanna be gentle. So I'm just gonna gently pry around this tape. Once we get the tape around this all pried up, then we can pull this cable out. Okay. So, there it is. Busted screen. The replacement screen. So I'm just gonna flip this over and then gently plug this connector back in. Retape around it and firmly press down. And this looks like it's got a good connection. Sometimes I add more tape if it feels like maybe it might come loose just to give it a little bit more stability, but this was actually a lot of tape to begin with, so I feel pretty confident that that's gonna be nice. And now we just want to screw these sides back in to hold up the screen, and then we'll quickly test it. And then if all that works, we will put it all back together. As you can see, the manufacturer put this tape in a great spot for protect it. It's just not doing anything, so that's always nice. Good job, guys. But luckily, these gloves will get it so that there's not too many fingerprints or anything on this, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, now that we have this thing back together, I'm just gonna plug in the charger and we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna see how the screen looks. Again, I don't know why I even have this on here. This thing is useless. All right, as you can see, it looks much better than before. All right, so we're just gonna let this thing boot into Windows and I'll properly shut it down and put the rest of it together and then make sure it still works.
Okay, so we have this thing all together now. Stickers on, screws all in. Uh, grab the replacement screw for the one that got away. And let's turn it back on and make sure it still works. All right, so as you can see, everything still works. Uh, simple enough video, easy uh, replacement. Thanks for tuning in and watching and uh, hope to see you guys soon.